How are you today? I'm fantastic. How about you? I'm good, thank you. Good. good. Um, thank you for talking to us, first and foremost. It's really great to meet you. Um, so what have you been doing before you've been here today? Um, a lot of press work, a lot of promo work, um, letting everybody know about the brand new album I've been in the studio putting together, which I'm so excited about. Um, and uh, that's about it. That's about it for the day. So you're over here promoting the new single, Commando, which you've done with David Guetta. Tell us a bit about that. Um, David is has become a, a really great friend of mine, just as much as he is a great producer um, and a DJ. Just very, very exciting to work with above anything. So we've had a great time. That's where Commander happened. It's where One Love Takes Over started. So we did more songs from his record, One Love. So, yeah. And do you think the new single is that indicative of the sound you're going for on the new album? It is definitely um, a piece of the sound that I'm going for on the record. Um, dance has inspired the record just as much as um, um, R&B has, but I have to say spending a lot of time over in uh, Europe and you know, going to different places has inspired the sound of the record. Um, so it's a global sound. Um, and the album is called Kelly Rowland, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what can you tell us about the album? What can we expect? The album is very personal. It's a very personal record. Um, it is fun. It is uh, full of, of great music, of great uh, direction with producers and writers. And we were having a good time in the studio, concocting everything and um, bouncing ideas off of each other. It's been fun above anything. And I'm not done yet. I'm actually still recording. <laughs> so I've got to get back to the States and get to work. I'm actually going to the studio after this to do some work. And would you say when it comes to recording the album, are you quite a perfectionist? Do you like to record loads and loads of tracks and be able to pick the best ones? I do like to do that. I think that it's important to, per to um, do what you love um, in the studio and um, to see which ones you just love just a little, a little bit more. There's no problem. And the sound that you've got with Commander is quite different from Miss Kelly and from your first album, Simply Deep. Um, is that a conscious decision? Did you want to move away from the more ballad and R&B sound? It wasn't so much about moving away. It wasn't about um, it being a conscious decision. It was just about wanting something different. You know, I, I felt like with um, the sound that I was doing, like I just was hearing the same thing over and over and over again. And I just wanted, I needed to be refreshed with something. And that's when I met David, and I was, so it was just as simple as that. Is that David Beckham on your shirt? It is David Beckham. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Awesome. Not a fan? Fan? <laughs> oh, no. I, I think he is very handsome. I don't know much about his soccer player. Play, I mean, I don't know much about his soccer playing, but I do know he's handsome. Do you want me to turn it around so it doesn't distract no, you? No. <laughs> he won't distract me. He's married. I respect Victoria. <laughs> Um, so again with the album you've got the up-tempo single are we going to see any of you know the old style Kelly are we going to see any of the ballads about love you do see that in this record and you see them and listen to them when you listen to songs like take everything that still have a dance element to it that still have a lot of soul to them um, I think that it's completely completely um, you're able to do a dance record that's a love song I think Diana Ross has showed us that Donna Summers has shown us that, Denise Williams has shown us that, and um, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to happen on my record. You don't want to miss it in September. And it seems with this record, it seems that your confidence is at an all-time high. You just seem to be growing in confidence more and more and more. I mean, is that something that you're aware of yourself, or is it just that you know, you're know you just in a really great place now and it just comes out? Um, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, excited and and um, and of course uh, nervous too you know with the new record because it is a new sound but at the same time I'm very confident in the direction and in the lane that I'm going in and it's nothing that anybody has told me and it's for me it's freedom like when I'm singing these songs on stage I'm having so much fun like I'm jumping through my skin singing these songs and and um, you can feel the love too amongst the crowd like it's just infectious so it's great I love it um, I am in a good place and when will we be able to see you performing live over here have you got a tour planned or? very soon um, no tour plans just yet but um, definitely uh, working on a tour because I can't wait like I actually have a band rehearsal in about two weeks to find my band and I get a chance to hear these songs 
live with great musicians and um, exciting new and fresh and young ideas. So that's going to be, ooh, I'm so excited. And how do you find the reception from your UK fans? Because we seem to, we, I mean, we do, we love you over here. I mean, how yeah. do you find that when you I come love over? you guys back, y'all have been so loyal and um, so wonderful. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the love and loyalty. Um, it's, I love coming here. Um, I feel at home here. Um, everybody has been so warm and sweet and, and thoughtful. And why wouldn't I want to be here with all of that good love? <laughs> yeah. And do you find when you're over here that you can just be Kelly Rowland and you know, you've know achieved amazing things obviously with Destiny's Child and your career and you've done acting as well. Mm -hmm. And do you find that in the UK you can just be you and you can just do your music without having to constantly be referring back to your background and your... Um, well, I mean, people referring to my background is going to happen. I have a great background that I'm very proud of, um, but I'm also moving forward. And I am excited about where I'm going moving forward. And I think that um, everybody does respect that here. It feels really great. And I was just saying, you've done acting, you were in Freddy vs. Jason, and you did, was it the seat filler as yeah, well that you were in? a long time ago, I had my taste at the acting bug, and I do plan on doing more. Um, but right now, the focus is music, definitely. So with the music, again, with all of the songs that you've recorded, what would be, it doesn't necessarily have to be one of your singles, but which one of your songs that you've recorded do you just absolutely love and you always look forward to performing, and what, what would you say is your favourite? Right now, because I am performing it so much and I'm really enjoying it, is Commander. I have so much fun singing that song. That and When Love Takes Over. And I know, like, there's this other song on the record called Take Everything that I just love singing just in my downtime that I'm going to love singing. Uh, and another song, on and on, like, I really love singing. So um, the record, I'm going to love to perform, period. So what's next for you then? So you've got the single at the moment, you've got the album coming out in September. What's beyond that for you? Um, just getting into um, more, for me, more recording. I'm really enjoying being in the studio and recording, and also, um, <laughs> and also um, branching out into uh, more business opportunities. For my last question, I'm going to ask you something which I consider to be the most important question you're going to be asked on this promo tour. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember seeing you several years ago on Cribs, and you're showing it from around your house, and uh -huh. your DVDs, and you pulled out, I think this is a moment my respect for you went even higher, and you pulled out a Spongebob DVD, oh. and you were saying how much you loved Spongebob, and I just want to know, is that still the case? Is Spongebob still in your heart? Spongebob is still in my house. <laughs> I think volume two is actually in my house along with three. Uh, but yeah, I watch Spongebob uh, with my god kids and we laugh our little heads off and have our little popcorn and chill and it's a good time. It's fun. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, Respect level. That's so funny. <laughs>